salvation. We reverse this. Because all we're focused on is the troubles and trials in our life. And we forget about that well full of blessings. We do. Life will drag you down. This world is not made for you to succeed. This world has set us up, meaning people, to fail. I'm not joking. You will succeed through some things, but you'll fail in others. And if you're not failing, you ain't learning. You can say, oh, that don't sound right, but it is. You know, we reverse this as Christians. You know, even this morning, no matter what you're going through, you have a cup full of trials, but you have a well of blessings. We ought to be thankful for this. And you know what? We don't even realize it because when those trials come and they hit us, we forget about that well full of blessings and we just start focusing on that little bitty cup of trials and then, then something else happens that's in that cup and then, oh, I just got a mountain full of trials coming down on me. But we forget it's just that cup full. Those blessings that God have are way outweigh that cup full of trials. We forget about the blessings. Man. The enemy wants us to think that we got troubles by the wealthful. But this isn't our New Testament experience. Our New Testament experience is we get trials by the cup full. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding an external weight of glory. What Paul was saying there is the light affliction, which is a little cup full of trials, is not even compared to the well of blessings that God has stored up for us. For those that honor him, for those that serve him. The blessings of God. Not, not the blessings of me. Not the blessings of your husband or your wife. You want those. Because if you don't, then those trials, that's, that's part of the cup full of trials. But uh, the blessings of God. so amazing this morning. That little affliction, that little cupful is not even compared to that well of blessings God has stored up for us. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're going through, but the good news is here. That is, if your cup is full of trials and troubles, your well is full of blessings. And God is not going to leave you with a cup. No. Your story is not going to end with a cup. It's going to end with a well of blessings this morning. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, a while back, I heard a, a pastor tell a story of uh, one of his friends. He bought some land over in India. And he bought this land. And on this land was a big mountain. And in the side of the mountain, there was a well drilled into it. But... Through the years, they just stopped the well up. So he decided, you know what, I'm going to clean out this well. So he began to clean it out. He began to dig, and he found old machinery, old furniture, you know, trash, weeds, bushes, and nearly 300 cobras and all that stuff. <laughs> the next day, he went back to the well, and he found a stream bubbling out flowing again. You know that story reminded me in the Bible, if you'll turn, turn with me to Genesis, the 26th chapter, the 15th verse is where we'll start. I got it marked here, so I'll be there a lot quicker than you. It says, For all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham, his father, the Philistines had stopped them up and filled them with earth. And Abimelech 
said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water which had been digged in the days of Abraham his father for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham and he called their names after the names by which the, his father had called them and Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. You know, enemies love filling our wells. They do. Just like in the 15th verse I read, we need to realize every day that the enemy hates your will. You know, in John 4.14 it says, But so whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, Jesus said this, shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. You know, The devil will do anything to clog that well up this morning. Now you don't do, do it this morning. He's been doing it all week. I know some of you have been going through just having a horrible week. Some of you have had a couple good days and a couple bad. But it don't matter... The devil is trying to fill that well, which that well is flowing with the Spirit of God in your life. If we aren't careful today, 